This is a short video on changing the web server certificate of vManage. By default, the vManage comes installed with a self-signed certificate. You can see that the connection is termed as insecure. Let's go ahead and see how we can fix this. Let's log into the vManage and head to settings. Here, let's generate a CSR for the web servers. Let's key in our details. The common name, let me type Narayan. Organization unit of Cisco, organization Cisco, and other city and state details. I'll leave the validity at one year. In this sand field, I will use the domain URL that I want and for which I will generate the certificate. In this case, it will be myvmanage.narrowlabs.co. Let's click generate. The CSR has been generated. Let's click CSR and copy the contents of the CSR. Now for this demo, I'm going to sign this with a free public SSL cert from 0SSL. So let me head to 0SSL and click on new certificate. Let me add my domain as myvmanage.norlabs.co. Next, I'll be using a free 90 day certificate. So I'll click next. Here, instead of auto generating the CSR, I will manually paste the CSR that we copied earlier. Click next. I'll use the free certificate. Now, when you're generating the certificate for a URL, it will be sent for validation. It can either be through an email to the domain admin or by adding a CNAME record. In this case, I will use the latter by adding the CNAME records. So let me choose TNS. Now it provides me with a CNAME record that I need to point to. So let me go to my DNS management setting for my domain provider and add these records there. Hit save. Let me also add an A record for the URL pointing to the IP of my vManage. Let's go back to 0SSL and verify. It goes through a validation process and provides us with the certificate. Let's download the certificate and open it. Let's copy the certificate content. Let's head back to vManage and this time click certificate. Click import and paste. Let's save. So certificate has been installed, but for it to take effect, we need to basically go and restart our application server. So let's head to the vManage. And restart our application server. That's done. Now let's go, go ahead and now use our domain URL that we registered 
to access a vManage. So I'll use my vManage dot arrowlabs dot co. And now I do not see the SSL error and I see that the connection is completely secure and the URL is trusted by the browser. That's it for this demo and thanks for watching.